Hello students, in the previous video we have discussed about different parts of a plant and the root system. Now we have to learn different types of roots. There are mainly two types of roots, tap roots and fibrous roots. What are the tap roots? <clears throat> have you seen uh, a mango tree? or a neem tree there are big big roots inside the soil one or more than one thick roots spread inside the soil that protects and support the tree so the roots that are having one thick main root with many smaller branches are called tap roots and what are fibrous roots like <coughs> coriander plant have you seen that a very small main root is there and a little little soft roots are attached to them and herbs and grasses they are having bunched together and spread out from the end of the stem. Here you can see the main root is here and some branches are spreaded. So similarly in the herbs they are having fibrous roots. So now I think you are, you are un, un, you know, I think now you are knowing very well what are the fibrous roots and tap roots. Tap roots means the broader and the bigger one for the big trees like neem, mango, <coughs> people and the fibrous roots they are having small and soft roots like coriander, mint and many herbs let's talk about the picture see here it is given here you can see this is a mango tree look at here from the stem the main root is going going downwards and see not a main root is here every root is coming from the stem part and they are tap root if we talk about the fibrous root see no thicker roots are here very small tiny and soft roots are here this is onion so this onion is having fibrous root and this having tap root <coughs> what is the shoot system in the previous video i have talked about the root system Let's talk about the shoot system. Here, inside the soil, the root parts are called the root system and above the soil that contains stem, leaf, bird, flower and fruit, this all part here to here, they are called shoot system. Understood? So, why it is important to learn about the shoot system because in the previous video regarding root system i have explained function of root system similar way we have to study about the functions of the stem system roots are absorbing minerals and water and nutrients and they are supplying it to the stem now here the stems job start so stem carries water mineral and food to the different parts of the plant and see you if you can see it provides support to the plant so that plant can stand erect and without moving or plugging out from the root some plants have soft stem like 
like we have studied earlier are herbs and some are having thick stems like mango neem and many more these are also a part of the shoot system sorry yes shoot system so leaves are thin leaves are thin flat and green parts of the plant of course they are green in color because of the presence of chlorophyll and these leaves are called the kitchen of the plant as they are preparing food with the process of photosynthesis in which chlorophyll and glucose converted into carbohydrate and and what you will explain me okay that is your assignment so in the shoot system we have studied about the stem and the leaves let's talk about the flowers so flowers <clears throat> help the plant to produce fruit yes and fruits will seed so fruits are often used as a food have you eaten any fruit yes this is the season of the mango so inside the mango fruit there is a big seed that can grow a new plant so we have studied in this the video in this video the shoot system and the types of roots thank you